With Roton, you can pretend the evil Skeletor can chew up anything that gets in his way. Battle Armor Skeletor, Roton, Battle Armor He-Man, and Zor each sold separately. Hey, Yesterland fans, I'm Neil, and welcome back to another episode of The Toys That Made Sense. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video from yesterday that I put out on the Bell County Comic Con here in uh, Belton, Texas. It was awesome. We had such a great time. Got to see a lot of cool uh, different people. Got to see a lot of uh, cosplayers and got to see some really cool vintage toys. And it's just fun to get out and do this stuff again, right? So, um, yeah, man, if you haven't checked that video out, go do it now. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button um, for all of my uh, videos. And, yeah, I hope you really enjoy my content. So, anyways, moving forward, after the Bell County uh, Comic Con yesterday, my brother-in-law and I did a little bit of toy hunting since we were in the area. And he told me about this little um, Walmart that's kind of secluded up there. It's off the main highway. It's not really, um, it's not really, you know, identifiable, if you will, if you're driving down the main thoroughfare. But um, anyways, he took me there. He said he's always had good luck when he went uh, to do toy hunting there. And sure as you know what, it didn't let us down. I walked right in and bam, I picked it up. That's right. I found the new Masters of the Universe uh, Roton Origins uh, vehicle. They had four of them in the store. Now, three of them were pretty damaged. They'd already been squished. And this one has a little bit of damage as well. But we'll get into that in a moment. But um, yeah, I was so stoked to walk in there and find this on the shelf. Because down here in my area, I haven't been able to find these. So... With that being said, guys, sit back, grab your favorite beverage and snack, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, here we have it. We've got the Masters of the Universe Roton Evil Assault Vehicle. The new vehicle that was released for the Wave 9 release. Um, yeah, these have been hitting the market now for, you know, about two months and they've been kind of sporadic across the United States and where they're popping up and whatnot. So I know we've had them here in central Texas. I just haven't had them down here in the Austin area. I haven't had any luck picking one up. So what I would went ahead and did was I put one on pre-order through Walmart and then it said it wasn't going to be available until like November. And then I got lucky yesterday, walked in and found this and immediately canceled my order and uh, picked this up. So very, very stoked that I got one because I was kind of getting scared there thinking, well, I might not get one of these, but I'm very fortunate like I said, anybody up in that area, there was three uh, as of three left as of yesterday. So, anyways, going forward, let's get into this. Masters of the Universe, Roton Evil Assault Vehicle. We get our 40th anniversary sticker, birthday of He Man. I'm calling it his birthday because, in reality, that's when he was born, when it hit. Uh, the airways and the toy line and all that. So He-Man he and the Masters of the Universe uh, all-star cast is turning 40, guys, in October. So, so cool to see that this line is still going and it hasn't, um, you know, disappeared. But anyways, uh, going down the box, we get our age uh, range here. It says 6+. plus. We get Modern Posing Retro Play. We get the Mattel insignia down here in the bottom. We get a nice little graphic down here, the Roton, uh, zipping forward, if you will. Use on a smooth uh, surface, advance forward to rotate blades. And then up top, we get, obviously, Skeletor and the Roton there holding his mighty uh, other half of the power sword, shooting those guns off of the Roton. And looks like he's busting across the... Um, their planet terrain there and or on Eternia or wherever he's at. So that's the front side of the box here looking in the window. The window is actually kind of sturdy. I was surprised to see how sturdy it was. I thought that was going to be more flimsy, but obviously any type of weight applied to it, it will crush. So be very careful how you display it or put objects on it. Looking inside, um, 
I don't remember how the original Rotons came. I haven't seen one. Uh, I don't know if they were in a, a, a window type box or not um, from when we were kids. So uh, I can't compare on that uh, on that side of it. But I mean, it's it's a nice display. It's at an angle, and then you see the accessories in there that we get. We get the different face with the teeth, and then we get the guns there in the back. Uh, the Roton, I do know this one is a lot larger than ours as a, uh, a kid from the vintage line, and it's been updated a little bit in the molding and the and the graph or the graphics and all that, the tooling that went into it, which is very cool. And this Roton will hold Revelations classics. Vintage, retro, and obviously Origins figures. So there's all kinds of different reviews out there on applying uh, different figures into the vehicle. So yeah, you can uh, you can use this pretty much in a, in a large uh, large uh, across the large line of the Masters of the Universe uh, industry. But flipping the box forward, let's kind of get moving into it. Look who we have there, Cobra Con sneaking on the side of the. The, the cliff there, if you will, looking like he's getting ready to come in and either help Skeletor or jump out at Skeletor. We've got this little demon dragon here running down the, the cliff side as Skeletor comes zipping down in the Rotan across that terrain. And then flipping it to the side, I'm going to have to kind of move the camera back here, so I apologize. I'll try to be gentle with it so it's not too jaggedy. And then right here, we see the cobra, um, or correction, cobra. We see the snake um, from the Eternia playset. It's chained up there off to the side. And then down here, we get He-Man on the Road Ripper. We know we're getting the Road uh, Ripper with the Zodak, uh, or correction, Mechanek character. And that'll be a two-pack exclusive, I guess, coming at some point next year. Masters of the Universe Roton Evil Assault Vehicle. And then flipping it around to the back, we get our wonderful, uh, typical uh, design and graphic. Uh, whether on land or in air, the Roton and its spinning blades carve a path of destruction. And there, there you have it. You see Skeletor on the Roton there. You see him zipping across that, that terrain there. And then we got, um, Stratos flying in here from the, uh, the, the background. And then we get the, um, oh man, I've had a brain fart. I'll make sure I put it in the, um, in the, in, uh, in the comments or I'll put it on top of the video here, but I've forgotten that action figure. Uh, vehicle. I know it's coming out in a two-pack set. Uh, we'll get some time next year. Uh, Moderizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. Masters of the Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro-style figures or in a new action-packed battle position. And then it gives us our directions on how to operate. Remove blasters uh, for surprise attacks. Attach roll cage to protect the pilot. Attach faceplate to, uh, uh, attach faceplate to immediate enemies. Eliminate. Eliminate? Oh, oh, intimidate. Sorry. I got my glasses on. I'm kind of looking over my camera here, so I apologize. Down here, we get the picture of the Roton, new for 2022. We get the Wave 9. Uh, we get the He-Man, uh, in the classics form, Skeletor, Pighead, and Mantana. I'll tell you right now, I'm, I think I said this in a couple videos before, I will not be picking these up. I just really have no attachment to them, even though they're going to be in the vintage slash origins looking line. All I really care about is Pighead and Mantana. Um, and then down here, we get the Mattel insignia again, powering the next generation through play. And then at the very bottom, each sold separately, subject to availability, and colors and colors and I cannot read that. Oh, um, decorations may vary. So that's what that says. And then right here we get the picture of the. And here's another. Um, I know that's not uh, Zoro. That's the. Um, oh man, boy, am I having a brain fart here. The the other bird, the evil bird. <laughs> I'll have to. 
put that also here in the comments. I've just drawn a brain fart this morning. But anyways, we get a picture of them. So that's a, that's a sneak peek. I believe we're getting that in the line sometime in the coming future. And then we're back to the front. And then when you look at the box here where I said I had some damage, unfortunately, this got torn here. I got a little tear and I've got a little bit of uh, indentation here on top. I've got a crease and then I've got a, a indentation dent here on the back. And then underneath, here we go. We got the bottom here says Masters of the Universe, Roton, Evil Assault Vehicle with all the mumble jumble and the barcode. So with that being said, guys, um, hey, I'm just stoked that I found this yesterday. I get to add it to the collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit those notification buttons to get the latest content um, notification when these videos drop. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and I am now offering um, Patreon if you want to support me. And there's all the exclusives up there, and I'll tell you what you get. So, again, folks, thank you for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you in Yesterland.